30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle is a special right triangle. For example, triangle AHC is a 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree right triangle, which is the half of an equilateral triangle ABC. And the equilateral triangle ABC is halved with respect to the perpendicular bisector AH equals Y which bisects the vertex angle A into two equal angle BAH equals HAC equals 30 degree and it bisects the opposite side of angle A that is BC into two equal sides BH equals HC equals X. Now, considering the 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle AHC, we can see that the opposite side of triangle angle 30 degree equals X and the opposite side of 90 degree, that is the hypotenuse, is 2 times X. Now, if we want to get the length of y, that is the length of perpendicular bisector, which is the opposite side of 60 degree, in term of x, we can apply the theorem of Pythagoras, which helps us to get that y equals a square root 3 multiplies x. So we can say that the length of the lengths of the sides of a 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle are in the ratio of x, root 3x and 2x are representing the sides opposite to the angle 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree respectively. Now, applying this hypothesis, we can solve these two triangle. Here the opposite side of 30 degree is equal to one unit. So as the angle of 30 degree as the third 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree triangle are in the ratio of x square root 3x is to 2x regarding the sides. So we can say that x equals 1 and the hypotenuse that is the opposite side of 90 degree will have a length of twice x so here x equals 1 so and the opposite side of 60 degree will have a length of square root 3 multiplies x equals square root 3 now the area of triangle rst equals half multiplies the base st multiplies the height rs here we know that the base is equal to 6 unit which is the opposite side of 30 degree angle r now the opposite side of 60 degree will be square root of 3 multiplies x if the opposite side of 30 degree equals x so here x equals 6 and so the height of the triangle rs equals a square root 3 multiplies 6. So we get that the area of triangle rst equals half multiplies st equals 6 multiplies rs equals a square root 3 multiplies 6 which results in 18 root 3 centimeter square. And it is to be noted that the hypotenuse will have a length of twice x equals 2 multiplies 6 equals 12 unit. As a right triangle, the sides follow the Pythagorean theorem like this 12 square equals 144 equals 6 root 
equals 6 root 3 whole square plus 6 square equals 108 plus 36 which results in 144 which verifies the theorem of Pythagoras. 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle. We can see that in this triangle, two angles are equal to each other and we know that opposite sides of equal angles are also equal. So, this triangle is to be an isosceles triangle where two angles, for example, angle ACB equals angle BAC equals 45 degree and so opposite side of the 45 degree angles are to be equal such as AV equals BC equals X. And if we want to get the hypotenuse as the opposite side of right angle, and here AC equals Y is the hypotenuse, and we get the value of Y in term of X applying Pythagorean theorem, which results in Y equals square root 2 multiplies X. So Y equals square root 2 multiplies X. So we can say that the lengths of the sides of a 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle are in the ratio of x is to x is to square root 2x. And x, x and square root 2x are representing the side opposite to the angle 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree. Applying this hypothesis, we can solve these two triangle. For triangle KLM, it is given that the hypotenuse equals square root 2. So as we know that for 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle, the sides of the triangle are in the ratio of x to x to root 2x, where root 2x is the opposite side of 90 degree angle. So we can write that root over 2 multiplies x equals square root 2. Therefore, x equals 1. So the opposite side of the 45 degree angles have a length of 1 and 1 unit because here x equals 1. Now in this triangle the area of triangle FGH equals half multiplies base GH multiplies the height FG. Here the base GH is given as 4 unit which is the opposite side of 45 degree f angle f equals 45 degree and in this triangle another angle h equals 45 degree so we know that opposite sides of equal angles are equal so fg equals 4 unit and eventually the hypotenuse of this triangle will have a length of a square root 2 multiplies 4 so the area of triangle FGH equals half multiplies GH equals 4 multiplies FG equals 4. So the area of triangle FGH equals 8 centimeter square. Triangle and trigonometry. If we consider this triangle as a right triangle where angle C equals 90 degree, then the opposite side of this angle C is the hypotenuse so C equals AB is the hypotenuse and if we consider angle A to get the ratio trigonometric ratio then the opposite side of angle A is the perpendicular so A equals BC is the perpendicular eventually the adjacent side AC equals B is the base of the triangle so sine A equals perpendicular divided by hypotenuse equals A over C cos A equals base divided by hypotenuse equals B divided by C and tan A equals perpendicular divided by base. So A divided by B, which can be written as A divided by C over B divided by C. So we can get that tan A equals sin A over cos A equals 1 over cot A. So cos A equals 1 divided by sec A and sin A equals 1 divided by cosec A. It is to be kept in mind that sin square A plus cos square A equals 1, sec square A equals 1 plus tan square A and cos square A is equal to 1 plus cot square A. 
trigonometric ratios of standard angles. For example, sine 45 degree or pi by 4 radian equals 1 divided by square root 2 cos 30 degree or cos pi by 6 radian equals square root 3 divided by 2 and 10 60 degree or pi by 3 radian equals square root 3 it is no bit it is to be noted that 180 degree equals pi radian area of triangle regarding the trigonometric aspect area of triangle equals length of one of the sides multiplies length of another sides multiplies sine of the angle included the respective sides so the area of the triangle abc where three angles are angle a angle b angle c and three sides are a b c so the area equals half ab sin c half bc sin a half ca sin b where angle b is the angle included in between the side c and side a so we can write that the area of triangle abc equals half multiplies here c equals 8 centimeter and a equals 6 centimeter and angle b is given as 60 degree so sine 60 degree so you can write that 24 multiplies as sine 60 degree equals square root 3 divided by 2 so you can get that the area of the triangle equals 12 root 3 centimeter square thanks for watching perceive persevere practice do not forget to like subscribe and share thanking you from high study prep